name is Jamie Pierce. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. I am giving my bathroom a deep cleaning. I am wiping down the walls, the baseboards, the cabinet doors, taking the shower curtains down and giving those a quick washing because they're dirty. Um, I like to wash them every few weeks and I will change out my plastic curtain um, every six months. just going to get all the sponges off the shower caddy and get that all cleaned off so I can take it out of the shower and get it scrubbed down on the back wall right there and I am going to scrub the shower wall really good I want to redo this bathroom um you can see where I have filled in some holes and I'm wanting to get it repainted but with this shower wall it's green so I have been struggling to find a color that would look good with it because um, I don't really want to paint everything white in here again so I'm gonna see if I can find I've looked before and I couldn't find um, the oh, what is it called the shower paint the tile paint um, but I would as soon as I can find some of that, I would love to get that painted because... product I was using I was using uh, the bathroom Lysol and I will also use a Lysol disinfectant to wipe the walls and the cabinets and all that down um, Lysol has just it has been one of my favorite products to use even way before this whole pandemic ever happened I have been using the Lysol products since my kids were babies and they are teens now. Oh, my son is 15. He will be driving next year. I cannot believe it. And my daughter is 12. She will be 13 in February. And oh my goodness, y'all. They grow up so fast. But anyway, sorry I got sidetracked. Um, so yes, I like to use Lysol products in my home. I, it's something I have been using ever since the kids were babies. to mention I am going to start uploading two videos a week now I upload on Tuesdays already and I'm going to start uploading on Saturday just to help you guys get ready for the next week ahead a little extra motivation
So this bathroom is so small. Um, I try to get good angles with my camera. It's really difficult to get a good angle in here because I can't bring my tripod in really because it's my tripod is way too big and I have no room in here. So I am just going to do the best I can with what I have. brush like that with the lid down on it just so it can dry a little bit before I stick it back in its uh, container and I am going to spray some Lysol disinfectant in there because I had ran out of my all-purpose Lysol disinfectant so I am just improvising for the time being and spray that down and wipe it down and I'm gonna let my toilet brush toilet bowl brush sit there so it can get disinfected and now I am going to wipe down the um, ca uh, bathroom cabinet doors. <laughs> Swiffer to wipe down my walls in the bathroom and y'all I am serious this has been such a lifesaver I know I have said it in my last video well, last two videos this is has been my lifesaver it keeps me from getting up and down on the step ladder and potentially falling and hurting myself because you know I am a little clumsy I Sometimes I trip over my own feet, but yes, this has been such a lifesaver and I suggest everybody using a little Swiffer on your walls to wipe them down and I need to fix that door, <laughs> but that's where I've had some holes patched. Um, just trying to decide on what color I want to paint my walls in here. Did you guys just see the shower caddy fall? It about took my camera. Thank goodness I saved my camera because my heart was literally in my toes. I thought it was going to hit the floor. Oh, I was kind of panicking there for a minute because buying a new camera is not in my budget right now. So I was just so glad it didn't hit the floor and I saved it. So I just got done wiping the tub back out because I had poured that nasty water down the drain and I had the toilet bowl brush container sitting in there so I just wanted to spray that down again and wipe it out and now I am putting all of my um, shampoos conditioners and products back the razors and our sponges getting everything put back in their home
So now I am cleaning the bathroom sink down because my kids had all their stuff everywhere and I have my tripod standing in my shower right now. Um, so I'm going to get this sprayed down and wiped down really well and clean that mirror. the sink faucet back down and went and grabbed a little scrub brush so I can scrub back behind there and up underneath that a little bit because it was just nasty there was just some buildup back there and the scrub brush I am using I bought a pack of four it came with four in there and I got them from the Dollar Tree they have been some of the best little scrub brushes I have used because I can get into some of the little nooks and crannies with them one of my favorites and I have a oil diffuser I keep in this bathroom um, I have them all over my house and I the I use um, this oils from Bath and Body Works like the little air fresheners I just pull the little filter out of them and just pour a little bit in there like a drop or two and it makes everything smell so good So now I am hanging up my plastic shower curtain and I actually forgot to hang up the cloth shower curtain but towards the end of the video you'll see me coming back in here and adding that and it was like two days later because when I was editing this video today which is on a Monday I realized I'm like I didn't hang my cloth cur shower curtain up so I ran and did that so I can get it done and ready to be uploaded tomorrow. where I just ran back in here to get this cloth shower curtain put back up and I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it gave you some motivation and I will be uploading another video on Saturday like I said I'll be uploading twice a week now and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already because I have tons more of motivating videos coming and I will talk to you guys Saturday